Okay, so what I've caught here today, this is uh, what's known as a giant water bug, and it has a scientific name um, that I hope I have in the title, but I can't pronounce it. And um, he's been in here for about a day, and um, he was bouncing around quite a bit yesterday. I'm a little leery about picking him up because he's um, pretty bitey, very, very bitey actually. Um, hmm. Let me see if I can get him to grab a hold of this. Now, he of course isn't reacting very well, and um, I think that's because he's playing dead. It's something these things do quite a bit. Is um, they're really good at playing dead. But I've brought some water over. Um, I'm going to put them in. I got this big tub of water here. I'm going to put them in the water here, but not until I get a good look at them. Um, there's the thing right there. Get this to focus. Okay, right there's the thing you want to look out for. They're very bitey, and they, they'll stick that little snout in there. Here he comes. Yeah, I think he's playing dead. But they'll grab you with those big front arms, and... Um, They'll pull you in, they'll bite you with that little snout. Um, and I just saw on the internet, apparently right here on the back is actually their snorkel. So they sit underwater waiting for a fish to come by and they leave that out of the water so they can breathe and they can stay underwater for longer. But this poor guy, he's either not doing well or he's playing dead so I'm going to give him a break and actually put him in the water. He likes that. Eh, nothing. Maybe I kept him cooped up too long. Uh, let's see if he's playing dead or what. You gonna move, fella? Okay, maybe he's dead. Anyway, that's a giant water bug. I'll leave him, I'll go look. He's taking his little thing out of the water there. There may be a chance that he's playing dead still. There, I had one of these one time for a whole day, and it was on its back the whole day, all curled up like that, and uh, uh, I thought for sure it was dead. And um, at the end of the day, I just dumped him out on the ground, and off he started walking away. Yeah, you see him moving? He's alive. But, uh, yeah, he started walking away, and then uh, eventually he actually flew away. So, I'm hoping that's what's going to happen with this one. I was hoping he was going to be walking around more. Um... He's starting to move around. He's got his put his head down in the water. He's probably probably playing games with me. Anyway, as you can see, they're pretty big, about two, two and a half inches. Yeah, he's starting to move around. He's playing dead. Um, so I will keep him in the water here, and I'll take good care of him, and I'll take him back out to the lake. I found him near the lake. I think he had flown out of the lake um, at some point, and uh, I'll go put him back in there later on today. But, just wanted to share that. Hope you all enjoy it. Okay, just to update, this is about a week later. Um, I know in those previous scenes it was looking as though um, this poor little fellow was dead. But he's very, very, very much alive. He's very, very active. Uh, I'm keeping him here in this bucket for now. Now, as you can see, what he's doing there is he's sticking his abdomen, that little snorkel, out of the water so he can breathe while staying under the water. And he's, you know, poised and ready to uh, catch a fish. But there's no fish in here, of course. So 
since he is alive, I'm going to end up having to take him back out to the lake and let him go in there. But, oh yeah, I wanted to verify that he's alive, so... Um, he's very, very, very good at playing dead. But, trust me, he's very... Let's see, there you go, see him? Extremely alive. Um, just wanted to do an update to show that. Um, anyway, hopefully the next scene is me letting him go in the lake. So, stay tuned.